football is back. And if you're going to play fantasy, you might as well make a little bit of cash while you're at it. Look at these big winners from last year in FanDuel.com. Big winners. All you guys got to do is put together a winning team, just like this right here, primary example, and enter the promo code Dual Life Games. That's Dual Life Games. Fitness. Can you guess what are the top two trends for fitness in 2016? Okay, top two trends. Um, that the waist trainer and um, was that when people? Oh, detox. That's it. The waist trainer and detox. Those are fitness fads that'll never go away. Those are not per se trends. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be using a detox to lose weight on a consistent basis. And that belt gives you a false sense of slimness. As soon as you take it off, your belly gonna fall right back down to your toes. Oh. So, on the real list of top trends in fitness for 2016, we have the wearable tech and we have high intensity training. We also found a video highlighting these things. Rebecca, hit that footage for me. According to the American College of Sports Medicine's annual fitness trend forecast, there's a Fitbit, Jawbone, even one disguised as jewelry. These devices can be paired with your phones and tablets so you can keep an eye on your progress and make adjustments to your movement and diet as needed. It's my choice. The second most popular trend for 2016 is body weight training. It uses minimal equipment, you are the equipment, making it more affordable, and all you need is enough space for squats, pull-ups, and push-ups. So... Those are the two big trends in fitness. And Rebecca, which one of those trends are you utilizing? Wearable technology or nope. high intensity training? I'm with you, high intensity training. He's trying to kill now, me, y'all. I wouldn't he call- He's trying to look, kill me. I wouldn't call what she did with me high intensity anything oh, except a high intensity how complaining. Gonna, how you gonna put a sister out there on the YouTube that way? But you, cause like I don't work and don't switch. She works, <laughs> her mouth. Telling me, oh, oh, and she works her oh. eyes, rolling her eyes. But at the end of the day, she is starting to get, make some gains. She's starting to get things done. So I guess I'll keep you around, even though you just talk junk about me. It's all in good love, y'all. <laughs> my wearable tech is my watch. I have a heart rate watch on that I wear every day. I go do cardio because I'm trying to keep my heart rate in a specific range. And I would encourage you guys to go out there and check out some of the wearable tech, the Fitbits, and some of those other things that track how many steps you're taking each day. I think I do have a wearable tech at the you house. You do? What you got? I don't know. I've got to dig it up in a drawer. Golly. I'll bring it. <laughs> now, don't let, don't let the wearable tech be the end-all, be-all for your fitness goals because before there was wearable tech, people was getting in shape way back in the day before all this came about. And so, Rebecca, in closing, what is going to be your fitness goal that you're going to do in this coming week? to make sure you're maintaining yourself and you're still striving for your fitness goals. That I will be able to survive another training session with you. God. Guys, that's going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> this life game session is over. Bonito. Don't forget to like that video. Like the video. Comment and subscribe. Comment and subscribe. Go get yourself a life game. Oh, go get yourself a life game. And we'll see you on the next video. Catch you on the next video.